today we will learn Dutch language or Netherlands about the verb or in Dutch is where work where is work what is work so it is verb or sometimes I write it in way way. And this verb is used for now or for the present time. How to put this verb in the sentence? We already learned about it in the previous video the link I will put below and this is the first order or the format that used for verb they have more than one format or formation or order but this is the most used format that used <laughs> yeah. Uh, they they have the others like in yeah, a different time, different thing. We will study about it later. Now we will just focus on this time. But this one, the word here, we don't have to change. It's same. You just have to put the T at the end of the word or you just put the EN or AN at the end of the word. So this one has similar word. With other format or order, we have to change the word here. But we will learn about it later. Let's start it. This column is used for ik. Ik is I. And this column is used for subject that consists of one, one person, or one animal, one thing. It is hi or he, zai or z is she, help. this column because this consists of one he she it and this for the column here used for subject that consists of more than one which is Would or why is we, zai or the is they, yuli, you guys, using this column. So, I using this one, consists of one, using t at the end of the word. Consists more than one is en or an at the end of the word. The word itself, same. And this is the English translation. Let's start it. Krijg, krijg, krijgen. Get. Help, help, helden. Krijg. Kijk, kijk. Kijken, look. Fiets, fiets, fietsen. Cycling. Wandel, wandel, wandel. Walk. This one, walk and see. It means you're enjoying the walk, so you just, you don't 
just do walk but you do see the surrounding enjoy the environment so this is that walk wandering if you only do the walk it's loping you don't enjoy the surrounding the environment you just do the loping but i don't put loping here because this loping has different formation It's not fit with this order. Okay. We will continue. Hang. 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 Drink. Drink. Drinken. Drink. Work. Work. Worken. Work. Luister, 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 listen. Kom, 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 kom. Roep, roep, roepen. Shout. Vind, vind, vinden. Fijn. Vier, vier. Vieren. Celebrate. Verlang. Verlang. Verlangen. Desire. Verleng. 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 Extend. Hi! Today we will learn Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia about the verb or in Indonesia is kata kerja kata is work kerja is work together it becomes verb in Indonesian language they don't have difference in um, the verb for Person for one person, person more than one person, for object that consists of one, or object that consists more than one, and for time signal, for now, for yesterday, for in the future. All same. Verb for I, you, we, they, he, she, it, same. Time signal for yesterday, now, in the future, all the verb same. So, we just have to learn about one single word for one single meaning. No matter the subject consists of one or more than one, no matter the time signal, yesterday, now, or in the future, we use the same verb. If you think this is so easy, let me say yes and no. Yes, because you don't have to learn about differences in subject and time signal. But no, because they have different order too, which is this verb using the, let's say, the original word. Today, we will learn the verb that use original. Original verb. But in Indonesia, as I mentioned it, in the previous videos, we have prefix, infix, and suffix. Prefix, infix, and suffix. How to say it? Prefix, infix, and suffix. Let I write it with different color. Um, yeah. If I say this is the original, original will just like this. Original. 
standalone as original no need to change or everything but if it's prefix this is the original and we have to put the prefix here for the verb prefix can be like b with the original or m with the original but we will learn about it later and the infix this is the original but the infix will come in the middle so it will be like this then this is the original I'm not sure I will find out the verb which use the infix but the first the verb they have it in original and they have it in prefix and the suffix come with this is the original mm, sorry I write it here so it will be same then this is the original and then the suffix will come at the end I'm not sure too if there's verb with the suffix or so we will learn about it later but I'm sure in the next video I will make about this verb with the prefix b and with the prefix m this infix and suffix we will find out if there's any or so, but I think we don't have it. Yeah. Now we will just learn the original first without the b, without the m. If you are confused about it, don't think about it now. We just learned about this one now, the original, without the prefix, infix, or suffix. Okay. Let's start it. Wake up, bangun, shower or take a bath, mandi, eat, makan, drink, minum, study or learn, belajar, Go, pergi, come, datang, come home, pulang, so come is datang, come home is pulang, sleep, tidur, fall, jatuh. We can put all of this verb in the sentence. I will put the video in the link below, the link of the video in the link below. So, we can learn how to make a sentence with this. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.